Hello Ahmed, I saw your post here on Facebook regarding how you can make a card similar to this. And you got a few responses, but I'm not sure if this helped you in any way. So I thought, uh, I'm a visual guy, so I would like to show you a simple way of setting something up similar to this. So let's go ahead. I'll go into Blender here and I will start by making the card. So let's uh, scale this up a bit and scale it in the Y axis as well. And then it looks like we had like an edge around it. So I will apply transformation, control A and apply all transformation. Then go to edit mode, go to faces up here and select the front and the back face using shift. And then I will insert these and then scale them out in the Y axis a bit. Make kind of a little edge you see here. And then insert again. Just a tat with the Y key, uh, the I key. Like this. So we see we got like this facet here. Then we need to get some things to reflect in this. And you need some very drastic colors. So what I'll do is I will go into up here and split. And then go to the shade editor. Press N to remove this. And in here I will add the noise texture. And drag it down here. And I will, whoops, not here, in the world sorry add the noise texture and i will then drag the color into the color of the background and you cannot see anything here but if you go into your render up here you start to see you have some colors all around and if you have the node wrangler add-on uh, enabled in the plugins it's default with blender you can go here select the noise and press ctrl t then you get this mapping device here and you can go down to the scale in the c-axis and type 0.1 and you will start stretching the background you see like this let's then go up here and add the curve modifier agb curve and add this in between here plug it there and we can then start to drag the colors here you see in the background let's give him a little spark here drag some of the white out but you can play around with this it can be a lot of fun actually let's try something psychedelic like this it is very nice but it, right now it's confusing that you can see all this in the background. So what you do then is go up here, then scroll down to film and click transparent. And you will now not be able to see your background. Then we got the card here and let's go into the object. And we can then do something fun here. Let's say add an RGB mix like this and then add a layer weight to this because that we can use to control how the material reacts let's just remove this with the n key and then i can see here so you can see what's going on right now i'll take this and turn this to sharp green and i will take this one and turn to red like this we then feed this into the color and we take the facing here and feed into the fac right here. And as you can see now, as I rotate the view, you can see the model changes color. And if I then rise this, you will see very quickly it changes color and it's already a little bit like hologram. But this is not the effect we want, but we can use this to control the reflection and 
how the colors react well. So we take this and we then add the metallic and we turn down the roughness. And then we start reducing the colors up here. This we take very dark and this one we take closer to the white but we can give it a little tad of the green or the red if we would like now you can see if i re rotate i'm starting to get that look and due to this separation here with the facing you can see when we turn it to the side it starts getting darker and then lighter again due to the viewing angle which help us give a little more play into the material. We got some sharp edges here. We can also go into the model and we can cut it up with the control R key here, like this, and then throw on a sub division surface of this modifier, just to make it a little lovely smooth. And let's set shade smooth. So now we got a card with this, but we still need something. So I googled a little bit to find a face and there's several faces here. I choose this one here. So let's uh, go in and download this face into a temp folder. And what I do then is I convert this into a normal map. And for my case, I do this in Photoshop. There's a lot of tools that could be used for this. And then I go to Filters, 3D, Generate, Normal. And I can then go to Cube and see how my picture looks. I'll just go here and cut it out like this maybe. Let's say crap and then say builder generate normal map and you could do this of course with the logos and the text and whatnot just to show this I can then decide how much I want it to blur and how much detail I want it and if I want to Invert it and whatnot. But you can play around with the settings to see how you like the normal map to work. Okay, the detail a bit here. And let's see what happens. Then I export this out as PNG. Let's call this base normal. And go back into Blender. I'll go to front view, I will go to edit mode, select everything by pressing A and then UV project from view. That will mean we project the exact angle here. So I go into the surface here and I will need to add an image and I'll need to add the normal map. So let's add the normal map as well to we translate the image data. So let's open here. Let's see the temp folder and drag in the normal image. I'll drag the color to color here and the normal to normal down here. And we then need to set the color space here to non-color data. And let's see what we have. Go to UV editor and select all this and scale it up. Scale, 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 scale. Like this. And because the image stops out here, it's not the best image. It would be better to map one exactly for this, but it works for the purpose here. Let's go to the shade again and tell the, the image to stretch from the end, like this, paint, and turn off the editor again. And now we see 
of the norm map again reacts to the reflections and how the card changes the color it becomes darker when you see it a bit more from the side as well and of course this is a little diffused because of the stretching from the normal map but when you make the normal map that fits the card this will of course work better you can also go here and turn down the effects so it's a little more subtle you see and that looks a lot better so i hope this can help you to get started on your project and then perhaps someone else can use this for something so good luck with your project out there